Jake Paul, Ben Askren, and me. So by the time you're watching this, that fight will be over. But for me, it's one week away. I'm going to give myself seven days to train as hard as I can. Winner of that fight gets me next. I, I could win that fight, right? Abby, honest opinion. If I fight Jake Paul, do I have any chance of winning? <laughs> oh. Could I beat Jake Paul in a boxing match? No. Roxy, could I beat Ben Askren in a boxing match? Hey mom, if I fight Jake Paul, do you think I have a chance of winning? Who's that? All right, so nobody thinks I actually have a chance of winning this fight. Well, I guess technically my mom doesn't know who Jake Paul is, so I'll count it. Their fight is in six days and about eight hours. So let's have our first training session. I've literally never boxed a day in my life. My first workout is done. I'm not very good at boxing, but I got a good workout. Six days left. So I just woke up on day two. Like I said yesterday, I have no experience boxing at all. So last night I went on YouTube. I looked up how to box for dummies and I actually found a couple good workouts. I'm going to do those later. But the other thing I noticed is all the really good boxers seem to be really good at trash talking. I've, I've never been much of a trash talker in real life. Jake Paul is so ugly that uh, ugly people say that he's ugly. <laughs> ben Askren smells so bad that tr uh, trash cans think that he smells bad compared to them. <laughs> Ready to go. All right, the second workout's done. One thing I do want to say, because obviously this video is goofy and silly, but that's just kind of my vlogs. I am legitimately training as hard as I can this week. That is not a joke. But do I really think that I could beat Ben Askren or Jake Paul in a fight? Heck yeah, I do. Five days left. All right. So this was actually really good timing because this week's vlog is about working out. But ever since the, what the, Roxy literally just jumped on a pipe. Anyway, Sam and I have been trying to build an in-home gym ever since the virus started. So I got all this boxing equipment. We got the treadmill. I actually just bought one of those Peloton bikes. Now I got a bench and some dumbbells. So I'm gonna put it all together. Man, those boxes are heavy. <laughs> I don't think I put that thing together right, but I guess I'll find out next time I work out. These are actually really cool. They're like adjustable dumbbells, so they go anywhere from five pounds all the way up to like 55 pounds. I don't really use 55 pounds very often, but I already worked out earlier today, plus this thing was a workout in itself, so I'll give it a shot tomorrow. All right. It's day four, I'm in the middle of a run. Believe it or not, I actually used to run cross country back in high school, but right now, that feels like a long time ago. Don't be afraid, don't be 
So I accidentally locked the keys in my car. So I have to run back home, get my spare key, and then run back. It's gonna be a longer run than I thought. All right, guys. So I just ran like three miles. I feel like I ran 300. Okay, I haven't gone for a run in probably close to two years. We're gonna take a break from training for now, but later today I'm getting an exciting delivery, so we'll get back to training tonight. Two things I have on the docket for today. I just received an email last night, one of the biggest honors of my life. I'm serious, guys. I can't give you a whole lot of information right now, but the Make-A-Wish Foundation actually reached out to me. There's an amazing young man out in California that wants to kind of meet me and, and learn about vlogging and stuff like that. So that's one of the biggest honors of my life. The other thing is a little more silly. So my buddy Kenny from back home, I met him in college, wanted to make it on mail time. So he sent me a package. I have no idea what's in here. I, I think Kenny sent me an umbrella without the stick. Kenny, I have no idea what you sent me. This is the worst gift ever. It it's the worst item in the history of mail time. Oh, it is a hat. It's an umbrella hat. It also kind of looks like a sombrero. So I mentioned that I was getting an exciting delivery. Well, the guys actually just came. They put it together. Think of it as like mail time 2.0. This is something that I've wanted to buy for a long time, but I figured the week where I'm... Oh, this is the worst gift ever, man. Oh. That's no joke. So today is the day of the fight, and I actually feel like I've gotten a lot better throughout the week. But one thing I still haven't done, I haven't sparred. So today I'm going to go to my parents' house. Me and my dad are going to have a real boxing match and see if I could get a little bit more experience. Oh, also, I got the perfect shirt on. Has anyone ever seen Rocky? <laughs> One, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. One, two, three. Oh, no! Oh, I'm coming for you, Jake Paul. Get my money, Jake. Get my money. This was a bad idea. 